YouTube, welcome back. Today I'm gonna get into how to make ambient hard beats for people like Nardo Wick, Future, and Lil Baby. Let's get it. Alright, so I already made the beat. I'm gonna deconstruct the melody first and then we're gonna get into the drums later. So for ambient beats, it's really important to use VSTs that include ambient sounds, of course. And good VSTs to make ambient melodies are VSTs like Analog Lab, Expand, Omnisphere. Uh, just basically VSTs that include pads and stuff like that. So, uh, so for the first melody, I start out with Analog Lab. Uh, right here, I use the Endless Flight preset. I lay down these notes right here. So yeah, I started out this melody in Keyscape, I just laid it down with a quick piano. That's another tip I can give y'all for like ambient melodies, because you don't really hear the notes that are being played, right? What I did is I started out with the piano, so you can really like clearly hear the notes. That's a tip I can give y'all. Start out, make your melodies with pianos and stuff like that, so you really like hear what's going on. So yeah, I laid that down in the piano and later like changed the VST to Analog Lab, because uh, I already knew it sounded good in a piano, right? So I just changed the VST after. So yeah, it's an F sharp minor. Uh, I laid down these notes right here. Once again, I use like the tension notes, like the one note gaps, the one note differences into the scale. And this right here is basically a triad. Uh, you get the root note right here, then we get the A, and then we get the C sharp. And I basically took out the middle note and moved this one um, to the right a bit. And then the little interval right here, then the note right here, the D, that um, complements the C sharp. And it's also the one note difference, so it sounds really dark. Now later, I just added the root notes on top right here to add some like high into the melody. So yeah, I ain't put no effects on it yet because I rendered it out. So what I did after I rendered it out is I cut them all up right here after every bar. Then I selected them all and I went to um, this little icon right here. And I pressed this uh, fade editing control button. And with that tool, you can basically like add crossfading to it, like a fade out to each like clip. So I just highlight every single like clip and I just put the, um, the last part down a bit so it kind of fades out. And that gives it a really cool effect. It sounds like this. Like a little fade out. For the effects on that melody, I just took some of the low mids out and added some high mids. Because uh, with this melody, since it's so ambient, it's like it only fills up this area right here of the whole frequency spectrum. So I boosted some of the highs to add like some high into the melody. But next, I added some RC20. I added the vinyl 3 preset. Uh, I took some of the low end out right here too. I don't think many people know that RC20 actually comes with a small EQ at the bottom right here. So yeah, I lowered the distortion down a bit and that's really it for the RC20. And lastly, I just added some Valhalla Vintage Verb. Put the decay on like 2.5. Turn the pre-delay down a bit to 15 milliseconds and turn the mix down to 50%. Also mess with the low cut right here because otherwise the low frequencies will get like kind of muddy because of the reverb. And after that, the melody is pretty ambient so you don't really catch like the BPM. Because if I play it like this, you really don't like know what tempo it is, right? What I did is I just added some bass notes in the piano right here just to like give it some rhythm. Just followed the root notes and copied it over. Uh, put it up one octave and lower dose notes as well. So that's what that sounds like. Uh, I went into Keyscape for that piano and I used the uh, LA Custom C7 Cinematic Piano. I turned off the reverb because I wanted to add my own reverb, but I didn't add reverb. I didn't know that, but it sounded good anyways. So yeah, for the EQ, I just cut some of the, the sub frequencies out, the low frequencies right here with the high pass filter. And I missed it so it really cuts out every single like frequency lower than like 54 Hertz right here, instead of just cutting it out like this which I see a lot of people do. So if you want to cut everything out, make sure to use uh, this preset right here, the high pass filter. Also turn some of the mids down and uh, boosted the highs a bit. So yeah, that's it for the piano. So next I just add a little tuba label, which I like to do. Gives it like a scary feel. And I basically only added it once at the start. Yeah, I used the tuba label preset from my drum kit right here. But I spiced it up a bit. I put some EQ on it just to cut some of the harsh frequencies out. Next, I'll put some delay on it. Y'all can copy these settings right here. At last, I just added some Valhalla Vintage Verb. I believe it's the same preset. Yeah, it's the same preset as uh, the Pad Melody right here. Yeah, that's very minimalistic, but it gives a very like scary feel to the melody. So next, I wanted to add like a little counter melody to kind of take out in the verse, so, like add in the background. I used the Arp Dreams 2 preset. I got it from a random bank. I don't exactly know what bank it is. And yeah, that Arp by itself sounds like this.
there. I basically just copied over the melody that I already had. You don't have to overthink this. You really got to make one good melody and you can basically make a whole beat, a whole melody out of it. And that sounds perfectly with the rest of the melody that I already had. The piano and the pad right here. Since it's the same melody, of course. So all together, it sounds like this. So next I wanted to add like a catchy part, because of course it sounded good already, but I wanted to add like a little top melody uh, to like add in a hook or something. So what I did is I just copied over the melody we started out with, and I took the, the root notes out, I took every single like starting note out, the F sharp right here, and I also like shortened these top notes a bit, uh, so then you get this melody, I just took some of the notes out, that's really it. So instead of having like two of the same melodies, as I can see right here, I just added on top of each other, I took some notes out to make it sound even more unique, if that makes sense. So to give y'all a better understanding with the whole melody, it sounds like this. Yeah, for that melody, I went to Omnisphere again. And I used this jazz uh, guitar octave preset right here. I believe it's from a bank, but it's basically just one preset. But next, I just added some effects once again. Cut some of the lows out with the, the high pass. I uh, also added some shaper box to pan it out from left to right, right here, the panning preset. Put some delay on it too, and some vintage orb again with the same preset. So lastly, I had like the high frequencies, I had the mid frequencies, but I just needed some low end. So I went to atmosphere again, uh, right here, and I used the, um, yeah, I ain't even gonna try to pronounce that. Uh, Y'all can read it. I just laid down the basic root note right here for one bar. Basic EQ. So next I just rendered every single instrument out since these were cut up a bit. I put it into stems right here and I made a loop out of it and then I put uh, drums under it. So let's get into the drums. So next for the drums, a key factor for ambient beats is to use high quality drum sounds. And I hear y'all thinking bro, where do I find high quality drum sounds for ambient beats? I'ma get y'all right bro. My drum kit of course. We got 808s, bonus loops, claps, effects, hi-hats, kicks, open hats, perks, snares, everything. So y'all know where to find it bro, first link in the description. There, firstly, I added this little crash right here, which just basically repeats all over the beat, same as the tubular bell. Just a little crash, nothing crazy. So next, I laid down the hi and the snare to kind of get the bounce going, since the melody was very ambient, to kind of get a foundation going for the drums. So it was the rollout hi-hat and the, the mob snare right here for my drum kit. And I laid down this pattern. So it didn't go too crazy on the high, it's just some little accents right here and right here. Just you're trying to make an ambient beat, of course. You want to keep a lot of space, a lot of ambience in the beat, so you don't want to go too crazy on the drums. So yeah, I just put down a two-step. I also added like a little roll right here at the beginning. So after the roll right here, I added some uh, lower pitch rolls with some lower pitch notes right here that pan out from left to right. Which adds a lot of ambience and like space to the highs. I've been trying to tell y'all this, but start panning out your drums to add space in your beats. Instead of having the highest hit on every single step, every single note the whole time. Just try to pitch them down and like pat them out a bit. So I basically just copied that melody over as y'all can see right here. Y'all can use uh, Control or Command B for that just to copy it over. But these low notes tend to be like very long. This is pitched down of course. So what I did is I went into the hi-hat and I put this envelope to this setting right here. Y'all can copy it. So that way when a note stops right here at the piano roll, it just stops playing. Like the whole sound just cuts out. So let's say I turned the envelope off, it would sound like this. Listen to the, the low notes. Like they kind of overlap each other. Uh, and let's say I put the envelope on, which I did, it will sound like this. It's a very small difference, but if you add small differences throughout your beat, it will add up, if that makes sense. And it would just sound way better at the end. So that's basically it for the hi-hat and the snare. So next, I laid down the 808. For the 808, I used the basic spins from my drum kit. These 808s hit very high since they're in F sharp. But for me, 808s sound better when they hit lower. For example, right here on the, the C sharp. So what I did is to pitch it down right here to add even more low end to the beat. I'm gonna just play the 808 pattern first. So I basically just made a pattern of like three hits at the beginning right here. Then I did the same right here, but I kind of delayed this one. And it's small little changes like that that really make a big difference is like the bounce. 
Next, I just copied the pattern over right here and I pitched the, the C sharp up and a whole octave. And also added this little note right here to kind of sauce it up. And that sounds like this. And the way I did that is I went to the envelope right here on the 808. So that way, when this note is not playing in the piano roll, there's no sound. So it cuts itself. Like that. Next, I added an open hat to fill up some empty gaps. Next, to kind of complement the open hat, I added a reverse open hat. It's really only two notes, but they really like add some ear candy to the beat. And now lastly, I just added some counter snares right here on my drum kit. So like this. So I know this looks very complicated, but the way I did that is I laid down this melody right here. Just kind of listen to where it needed some accents, but also leaving enough space for an artist to still be able to hop on a beat instead of just going crazy on the snares all the time. Next, I just copied it over like this. And y'all see, I still use the same notes, but I just added the, the roll at the end. And the way I did the roll is, so uh, let's just look at it like this. I had that before, but I added this little roll right here, which uh, goes down in velocity. Like that. Just kind of fades out and then it comes back in right here. And I also pitched it up to kind of make it go from like a high pitched snare to like a low pitched snare. So I had that laid down. Next, I added like a bigger roll right here with uh, like bigger gaps in between the notes. Also pitched that down the same way I did right here. Uh, and I added the little note right here. And all together, it sounds like this. And I also panned that out. So right here, it's still in the middle. And at the end, it just pans out from left to right. So then I went to the effects of my drum kit with this little swoosh right here. Just kind of make it so it transitions nicely. Also added the snare roll to kind of fade it into the transition and into the drums. And lastly, just added the riser for my drum kit, the epidemic riser. But yeah, that's how you make hard ambient beats. I hope y'all learned something from this video. Make sure to let me know in the comments what y'all trying to see next. Also, don't forget to subscribe for close to 4K. I appreciate y'all for real. And yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video.